Hey guys, and welcome to the second tutorial on fan control. Today we're going to take a look at creating fan curve for our CPU cooler. Uh, it can be a water cooler or a classic tower uh, cooler. Uh, it doesn't really matter, the uh, principle is the same. Uh, so I set up a um, set of criteria for our CPU fan curve. So uh, first thing first, we want it to be relatively responsive. Uh, we want it also, but also to allow CPU uh, to spike in temperature without our uh, our fan curve to quick, quickly ramp up and then ramp down. Uh, that would just be annoying if our CPU increase in, let's say, 20 degrees for just a second. Uh, we don't need to uh, increase our fan speed immediately. Uh, it, it won't cool it as fast as the temperature is changing anyway. Uh, we want also to take account for our minimum fan speed on our CPU header. Most CPU header have a uh, protection uh, mechanism which uh, limit the minimum uh, RPM our uh, CPU fan can spin. Uh, like in my case, it's 17%. It, cannot, it just cannot go below. And uh, to sum up uh, all these criteria, we want our CPU fan curve to only ramp up on uh, sustained loads. So how are we going to do that in fan control? So in my case, I got two fans for uh, my CPU. I got uh, my cooler is a Hyper 212, uh, quite classic. I got it like 10 years ago, still works like a charm. And um, so I got two fans on it. I got a push and a pull fan. We're going to start with our push fan, which is, in my case, the most important one. Uh, we're going to call it CPU push. It's a linear curve. And as I said uh, from experience, I know my CPU won't go, uh, CPU uh, header won't go below 17%. Uh, you might notice right now it's saying 13%. So I can instruct it to go 13 but let me just demonstrate. Uh, if I like notice the RPM, it's at 830 right now. If I put 17 and apply it, the RPM, uh, I mean, it changed a bit, like maybe 10 RPM, but uh, it's pretty much the threshold. So 13 or 17 is uh, pretty much the same thing. So that's the limit. So we're gonna just delete that. So I want my idle uh, per, uh, fan speed to be uh, the minimum, 17%, which is way more than enough. It's at 800 RPMs, which is plenty good. Uh, and uh, from experience, I know that uh, above um, around 70%, uh, my CPU uh, fan is just annoying. So this is going to be my uh, maximum. We're going to set our temperature to uh, which sensor we're going to go CPU package and uh, maximum temperature. In my case, it's, it's a 9600K uh, from Intel. It's overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. So I know that around 65 degrees, it's work, working pretty hard. So that's going to be my limit. And uh, as we said earlier, we want it to be a, a responsive curve uh, compared to our case fan in uh, my previous video. So we're going to keep the two degree uh, plus or minus range for it. And we're going to set a response time of three seconds. So the internal clock of the software is one hertz, so, so one second. Uh, so uh, spikes in CPU temperature will be minimum uh, one second. Uh, in my case, uh, I, I noticed that CPU spikes can go uh, as far generally as to two seconds. So to be safe, we're going to put a three second response time to uh, cover pretty much all possible CPU temperature spike. And that's pretty much it for our CPU push uh, fan curve. Um, we, won't, we won't do the CPU pull, which is pretty much the same thing, except its RPM are quite different since it's, since it's a different uh, fan. Uh, it's not the same, uh, it's not the stock cooler one, it's another one I bought aftermarket. 
So we're going to do a little prime 95 just to demonstrate how that works. So we're going to do do, 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 do it's torture test. I don't quite remember. Yes, in options. So we're going to do small F50, which is pretty much the most intensive uh, torture test you can do with prime 95. And we're going to start. So we started at 30 degrees and already with at 70 degrees. So as you can see, our CPU is now slowly ramping up to 70%. And if we change our mind, we can change the maximum fan speed to, let's say, 80. And after three seconds, it should start, there we go, to uh, go to 80%. Uh, and this is going to be my final setup. If we click stop, we went back to 40 degrees, and we should see our CPU slowly going back down. Yep, so this is pretty much it for our CPU fan curve. Uh, we achieve these criteria quite well with uh, the software with only basic, uh, a basic linear fan curve. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And in my next video, I'm probably going to cover uh, the GPU fan curve. So stay tuned. See ya.